And welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Alright, so I basically just played a day off screen. Totally not because I accidentally forgot to hit record and kinda just did an entire episode without realizing it. It's fine, let's go to bed. But yeah, mostly we just harvested crops and I actually went mining. I did find a piece of mythic ore for once, and I immediately sold it for the money. Now that I think about it, I probably should have kept it for the upgrades. Oh well. Oh, also wait. Hold on, rain stopped. I can turn this off now. Alright, let's get to work, shall we? So anyways, two more days until the derby, I believe. So we have a little bit of time to kill. Just want to check one thing. Okay, you're still not at seven hearts. How many days left do we have? Or how many more days do we have left? Uh, Fluffy Festival's on the 21st. Okay, I think we should be able to get seven hearts by then. Hopefully, maybe. Please? I kind of want to see if I can win with seven hearts. I forget what the bare minimum is in this game. Also, I think I need to rehire some people. Yep, I need to rehire a couple of people, actually. Alright. Uh, we'll go grab them later. For now, though, let's go take care of all of our animals first. Oh, also, before I forget... Gotta make sure I do some of the watering myself. But yeah, I just realized how much money we have at the moment. We're almost to a million. We only need, what, 40,000 left? Alright, so let me see. What's the easiest way to make 40,000 gold? I guess to go find more Mythic Ore. Mythic Ore is just like a really... I wouldn't say reliable way to make money. The problem with getting Mythic Ore is that it's actually very RNG dependent. Like, it can take a couple of tries to actually get some Mythic Ore from the mines. So maybe that's not the best way to make money. It's still good to do it every once in a while, and yeah, I still have some tools I need to upgrade. Which I really should at this point. We'll see. I wonder if I can break a million today. Probably not. Like I said, 40,000 gold during autumn, not really something you can really make in a single day. Like, right now we're profiting about, I don't know, five to 10,000 a day. Still, at this rate though, we should be able to get that million soon. We'll be a millionaire. Also, if I really, really needed money, I could just sell my entire barn full of animals. That actually won't really profit me that much in this game, I don't think. From what I remember, selling animals doesn't really give you that much in this one. Also, I think my animals are about to give birth. Like, literally tomorrow. Alright, so if I'm thinking... If, if I'm doing this correctly, I believe my cow will give birth tomorrow and then after that will be the sheep. Oh, actually, you know what? If we're gonna have a new baby cow soon, I should probably think of a good name for them. So what do we have so far? So we have, those are not my cows. We have cheese, we have, not latte, where are my normal cows? Cheese, ice cream, yogurt, butter. There has to be other like dairy products, right? For some reason I am completely like blanking on what is a dairy product. What have we not used? Let's see, we've used, obviously we've used the main ones. Hmm, you know what, I'll figure it out later. Also, what am I missing? I'm missing coffee milk. Alright, let's get this sold off. Oh, you know what, let me check one more thing. How is the grass doing? Uh, can we let the animals outside? We probably can actually let the animals outside for once. Alright, uh, let's let them outside for a bit. Just to let them enjoy the sunshine and get a little bit of extra affection. Also, wait. Oh no, for some reason I thought that knit cap was ready to be sheared. Not yet. Alright, let's get some brushing on you. Because yeah, I want to see if we can hit seven hearts. Can I not brush you? Nope, there we go. But yeah, we have some peppers we need to harvest. I'll do that in a second. Actually, wait, no, wait. 
That's right, we're, we don't have all the harvest rights working for us today. Here, you know what? Let's do the watering and then I'll take care of the harvesting later. We're down to like half our normal workforce, so yeah, I'm gonna need to help out at least a little bit. Also, what is with this pattern of harvesting? I guess I did do some myself, so... Yeah, my fields are not growing in evenly. It's fine. This is fine. You know what isn't fine? I'm out of water. I can fix that. Also, where's my horse right now? Down there. Let's go rehire the other harvest price before I forget. Other than that, let's see. I don't think anything else happens on Saturdays anymore now that we don't have cooking lessons. Lou does come to town tomorrow, so maybe we can actually grab some new recipes from her for once. Because I have been doing a lot of cooking since the last time we saw her. Also, you know what I think I forgot? I think I forgot Karen's birthday was yesterday. Whoops. It's fine. Actually, wait, no, I didn't forget. Was it yesterday? I'm pretty sure it was yesterday, because I think I did give her a gift off screen. Because, yeah, like I said, kind of forgot to actually record that episode. I could go back, but at this point, meh. Nothing really important happened. Alright, so I need you to help out with harvesting for one week. And I need to help you, or you to help out with harvesting for one- Oh wait, no, no, not watering. There we go. Alright, so they're helping out soon. Let's head home. Oh, you know what? Before we head home, let me go see if I can, uh, loot Carter's, like, mushroom garden. Any good mushrooms today? One. Okay, I don't re I really don't remember them being this rare in the original game. I guess that area was also a little bit smaller in that game from what I remember. These used to be truffles. Now they're these just, like, actual normal mushrooms. Actually, I'm pretty sure truffles are actually more expensive than these, like... What are they called again? Masuke mushrooms? I know these mushrooms are rare, but like truffles are like absurdly expensive. And I guess for some reason they can't grow them themselves. They have to find them in the wild. It seems that way for a lot of mushrooms now that I think about it. I wonder why. I don't know. I'm not a big mushroom guy in terms of either, you know, eating them or knowing anything about them. Alright, let's just keep working. I'll probably start harvesting once we're done watering. Actually, we have a lot of people helping out with watering. Maybe we could just do a little bit of, Maybe we'll just start harvesting, like, this entire part of the, uh, field. Alright, let's get some green peppers in our backpack. I do wish it was, like, an easier way to harvest in this game, though, like... Honestly, a tool to help out the harvesting would actually be a really cool addition. Instead, we still gotta harvest everything by hand. Like, those do exist in real life. Well, I guess it only exists for certain types of crops. I don't think there's a lot of machines for harvesting green peppers, but I might be wrong on that front. I don't know my farming machinery that well. Alright, also, yeah, I'm out of water. One minute. I can fix that. That's not how you fix it. That's how you fix it. Alright, so how are we doing so far? Fields are looking mostly wa Okay, this part isn't water, but you know what? I'm not harvesting that part, so it should be fine. Okay, fine. I'll water it a little bit. One minute. This part, though, needs to be watered. But yeah, starting tomorrow, everyone should be working for me again. I think. Alright, I'm guessing they'll have that part taken care of. Let's see, what time is it? 
But man, this is gonna be a first time in a while I've broken a million in one of these games, I think. I feel like I always make more money in, like, Friends of Mineral Town than other games. It might just be because I don't really spend that much in year two. Like, I made all of my major purchases in uh, year one with all the building upgrades and everything. Now we're just kind of holding on to money and seeing what we can buy later. Oh, actually, I just realized what time it is. Darn it! I missed the shipping for the day. Oh, well. Also, yeah, if we really, really did want to make money, I guess another way to do it would be through exploring the horse races. Because you can basically just buy, or you can basically redeem your medals for expensive stuff there and sell them later. I don't know. This is going to be our very last derby, so I kind of have to spend all of my medals this time, no matter what. There's not really any point in holding on to them anymore. But yeah, biggest priority right now, I'm getting that power berry. And then all the rest I'll just waste on, like, other prizes I can sell. Actually, I wonder what is the most profitable thing we can buy from the uh, horse derby. Maybe I'll look that up. Anyways, for now, I just realized I haven't really been picking up oranges or honey. I should fix that. Also, yeah, that spot's still kind of glitchy. I don't know why. But oranges and apples actually make for... They're not a huge sellers, but they do make quite a bit more money than I expected. I say as I see only 180 gold. Maybe I'm lying. You know what? I think I'm just lying. Never mind. I'm just going to keep those to give away. I'm going to bed. Alright. Okay, hi all my animals. Alright, so calf. This is going to be our second to last calf. So what are we naming it? So let me see. We have milk. We have ice cream. Or not milk. We have a cheese... Ice cream, yogurt, butter. What other, like, dairy products are there? Oh, you know what? I know. Uh, what is it? We don't have a cream yet. Like, the stuff, like, actual, like, cream. We have ice cream, but not normal cream. Actually, wait. Technically, this is a dairy dish. I'm not a huge fan of sour... Oh, wait, that's not going to fit. Never mind. Uh, I guess we'll just go with cream, then. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would fit here. You know what? No, we're good. Oh, wait, there... Wait, hold on. This isn't supposed to happen. I thought only one animal could be born a day. That's usually how it's worked through the entire game. Well, this is... unexpected. Uh... Crap. I didn't think of this ahead of time. Okay. What do we have so far? What's like... What's warm and fluffy that we don't have yet? Do we have... Hmm... We have a scarf. We have scarf already, right? I'm pretty sure we have a scarf. I cannot remember all the names of my alpacas and sheep. And rabbits, I guess. We have way too many of them. Uh, how about... Um, we have socks. Yeah, we, we definitely have socks. We have multiple socks. How about... I'm just trying to think of, like, warm clothing. Do we have, like, mittens? No, wait, I think we do have mittens. Hmm. Uh... I am completely blanking on warm clothes right now. You know what? What about... We have a sweater already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have a sweater. Do we have a jacket, actually? How do we actually have a jacket? I might be wrong, we might already have a jacket. But you know what? I'm pretty sure we actually don't have jackets yet. So this works. Alright, so we now have 15 animals. Um, How's the grass growing? 
that's enough to feed them all, technically. Alright, uh, let's go take care of our animals. Yeah, our family kind of expanded a lot faster than I thought it would. I honestly did not expect both to be born at the same day. For some reason, I thought we were always limited to only a single animal a day, but I guess I was wrong. And yes, we will be entering the horse race. And we're gonna win. Like I said, I don't care how many reloads it takes, I'm winning this. This is our last chance to actually win this contest, and I'm going to win it and get that Power Berry. Okay, but yeah, um, it's gotten extremely crowded in here. This is fine. Alright, so here's the important thing, though. We cannot shear Snuggy. We have to remember to always make sure that we don't shear her. Also, yeah, now that you've given birth, do you like me more? I can't find you anymore. Where are you? There you are. Okay, you are at seven hearts. Nice. Oh, yeah, now that Butter is like, given birth, we can start milking her again. But yeah, we literally only have room for a single animal now, and it's gonna be a cow. So yeah, once, uh, once Cream grows up, we'll get her pregnant one final time and get ourselves our last animal. Actually, wait, now that I think about it, I think I'll get that last animal just as the LP is ending, cause... Yeah, we only have like a month and a half left until the end of the second year, huh? That... Honestly, this LP went by a lot faster than I thought it would. I guess I didn't realize just like how much shorter days are in this game compared to like more modern story of season games. We're only at what, nine, Episode 90? Also, episode 90 being considered a short project. Actually, no, we'll still probably break 100 in this project, like usual. Well, then again, winter is coming up, and there's not really much to do in winter. We'll see. I'll play it by ear like I always do. Also, yeah, we do have enough grass to feed everyone, I think. Yep, we do. They're gonna take out the majority of the grass we have growing right now, but that is enough to feed them. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should have planted so many green peppers to, like, encroach on the grass field. We're gonna have to buy a lot of fodder this uh, winter, I believe. But you know what? That's fine. Fodder is, like I said, obscenely cheap. So it wouldn't be too big, uh, too big of a problem. Also, yeah, before I forget, let me take care of my chickens, too. Hi, chickens. Did I not let you... I didn't let you guys outside yesterday. Whoops. Well, no eggs today, apparently. Kind of forgot to let the chickens outside to eat. That was dumb of me. Oh, well. This is fine. But yeah, let's do a little bit of watering and then I'll start harvesting peppers again. Oh, you know what? It is Sunday. One minute. Oh, wait. I just remembered. My horse isn't here anymore. Kind of forgot we kind of made them uh, take it away for the derby tomorrow. Guess we're walking then. But yeah, I forgot. It's Sunday, so I think that means Lou should be in town by now. Let me go see if I can learn a new recipe from her. Because, yeah, I believe we've cooked up enough things that we should be able to learn at least something new. Alright, Lou, where are you? What are you teaching me? Okay, here we go. We're gonna learn how to make a baked apple. It's literally- what? What the heck is that? Is that what a baked- that does not look like a baked apple to me. It looks like, you know those, like, soup bowls that people, like, hollow up bread and then put soup in them? That's kind of what it looks like to me, except it's an apple. I think that, like, middle part- oh, hey! Hi, Cliff! Oh, speaking of Clara, we should probably keep an eye on her, shouldn't we? Well, then again, she's a baby. What problem can she get into? That's... a loaded question. Babies can get into a lot of things. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on the baby. But yeah, now we learn how to make a baked apple. I can just make it immediately, I believe. 
Because I have a ton of apples in storage, apparently. But yeah, look at that thing. It looks like... I'm pretty sure that, like, white part's supposed to be, like, the inside of the apple, but baked. But it looks like it's a liquid. Like, this looks like soup. I made an a, a bowl of s apple soup. Apple soup sounds at the same... Sounds delicious and kind of disgusting at the same time. Does apple soup exist? I feel like this is going back to that, like, Stardew Valley question of, is garlic wine a real thing? I never really did find the answer to that, did I? I feel like garlic wine is not a real thing, because doesn't, like, wine require, like, sugar for the fermentation pro uh, process? Like, sugar is kind of what makes it turn into wine, and I'm pretty sure garlic does not contain a ton of sugar, like fruit does. But like I said, I might be wrong. Maybe somewhere in some weird corner of the world, they do make, like, garlic wine. But I'm, like, 90% confident that I... that it's not a real thing. Alright, so how are we doing in terms of watering? Man, my watering pattern has just completely gone out the window at this point. The constant sound of, sounds of harvesting in the background kind of have driven me a bit insane. It's fine. We'll just, uh, continue working for now. And you know what? I think we might actually wrap the episode here, because I just realized I am completely out of stamina. I should probably just eat off-screen and then just take care of the rest of the, uh, field. And then tomorrow, we're going to the Derby. So... Yeah, I think we are going to wrap things up here, so next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, we're going to go horse racing again, for the final time, and I'm going to win, and I'm going to have so many me actually wait, you know what I just realized? We might still get screwed over in terms of medals, just because I don't think the game, I think the like odds against you are actually completely random, so we might just get like really good odds and then just not win anything, but you know what, I believe. Actually, wait, I just realized something. Oh god, we're gonna spend so much money tomorrow, aren't we? Because, yeah, you remembered. We kind of need money to, you know, bet. Ah, oh, I was so close to breaking a million. You know what? I'll try to keep myself at least somewhat restrained in terms of money spending, but we'll see. So, till next time. <laughs>